Everyone, welcome back to Femacy Lighthouse. Thank you so much for being here with me once more on my channel. To book a private session, all of that info can be found in the description box below of this video. If you are not yet a member of the Femacy Lighthouse VIP, I will put the link for you to join in the comment section. I read for all 12 zodiac signs over there, and I also do Taurus versus every zodiac sign as well. Let's get started. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to the recent past when it comes to what Taurus needs to know under this Capricorn moon. The moon is in earth sign Capricorn today. So we have Pisces energy coming out here first with the high priestess. This is mystery, secret, something being hidden. Tell me more about the high priestess coming out here. What is the mystery all about? What does Taurus need to know when it comes to this high priestess energy? We have the Five of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Tell me more about this Five of Cups energy. Talk to me about the Five of Cups coming out here in the recent past. All right, so we have the Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. What you don't know is that this person is obviously feeling like things are falling apart for them. All right, you may be aware of who this person is but i just feel like when i'm clarifying who the five of cups is as you can see this person is not in the best energy this person has their head down so there could be some issues that they're having with their confidence when i clarify that energy i'm getting the page of pentacles which is you taurus right so um if you are not aware this person is feeling some type of way because of some sort of dilemma that they're experiencing with you whether you're actually talking to this person right now or some of you are not talking to this person regardless they feel some type of way here um i feel like they feel that something is their fault i feel like they are blaming themselves over this situation it's a secret or it seems like it's hidden i feel like most of you are very in tune when it comes to your intuition so you may already know who this energy is all right but for some of you this is something that's very private and you may not really know this you may not know that this person is experiencing these type of feelings for you in the recent past because a lot of you haven't spoken to this person or you haven't heard from them in a while and if you have heard from them then you know it's like they're in a mood or there's some sort of vibe going on with this person okay they could be in a low vibration not only just because of you but because of other circumstances and other things that are happening to them in their life here in the recent past talk to me about this five of cups tell me more about this five of cups energy coming out here talk to me about the five of cups who is the five of cups yeah you see the ten of cups in reverse so somebody does not feel like they're getting what they asked for, that they're getting their wishes. Somebody just feels here that their whole world is upside down. This is a lot to do with a family dynamic. So they're worried about more than one person in the recent past here. So if you're finding that this person is just not focused on what they need to be doing or they're not focused on you, there's something here that doesn't seem to be very fulfilling for them. It's like their whole world has turned upside down for some reason. That's what I keep getting. So it's like they know that they need to prepare for something that's coming up in the future as well. And it's like they almost don't have the energy to continue to do that, okay? This could be a family member that we're talking about here, okay? And the reason why you are alerted to it is because you're the one, like I always say, to help somebody get out of this energy because even when you feel like this Taurus you don't stay in this vibration you know how to build yourself back up and that's why people always come to you for advice and they want to listen to what you have to say because you're that much stronger so someone may be needing some sort of reassurance there's something like that someone needs to be reassured about something here in the recent past talk to me about the present we have the Eight of Swords coming out here in reverse. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Okay. And I'm just feeling here that somebody just doesn't want to feel like this anymore. You know, someone has been overthinking things and they have been 
unable to move for a long time. Something like that has been going on with this individual. And it's like now they're ready to just come out of all of the stress. They want to come out of the problems. Tell me more about this energy in the present moment, please. Yeah, we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy coming out here. Tell me more about the Ace of Swords. Talk to me about this Ace of Swords energy and the Hierophant just fell to the floor right there. So, you know, I feel that this person feels that you are unattainable, that they are not able to really have what they need at this time when it comes to your energy. You're not letting this person through or something like that or... Um, there could be this feeling of you wondering why someone is so distant, but it's like spirit is asking you to kind of reflect on some of the things that you may have said to this person to get them to disappear. You know, I feel like there's something that triggered this individual. You might have spoke some truth to them or you might have said something that they needed to hear. You know, not all separations are bad for you. Some separations are good for you. And I feel like that may be happening for some of you in the present moment. And as I say that, the clock goes off. <laughs> so tell me more about the present. The Empress in the present. Okay, so this is what we want to see. You're making progress. So that's very nice. You know, I feel like if this is you coming out of this Eight of Swords, then it's like you don't want to be conflicted any longer you don't want to have anybody pressuring you and you're just taking the pressure off of yourself and you're doing it on your own someone feels like you guys aren't on the same page right now about whatever it is okay and that could be you and your mom or it could be you and your father you and your daughter your friend doesn't necessarily have to be a lover but that's okay um like i said these divisions and separations and breaks sometimes they happen because they need to happen and i feel like this is that time where eventually things will come back together you know this is not going to be a permanent situation i don't feel like it's a permanent separation or it's not a permanent thing where you're just gonna take all of your energy away from someone you're just giving more to yourself all right which is why you continue to be this empress in the present moment Spirit, talk to me about the future. Talk to me about the future when it comes to these energies that surround Taurus. You see the five of wands, conflict there, some sort of drama, you know. Who are the fire signs that are fighting here? Do you know any fire signs in your family? Do you feel like the fire signs are conflicted about something? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. For some of you, it doesn't have to be a fire sign. There just seems to be drama there in the future. What is this drama all about with this five of wands in the future? What is this drama all about with the five of wands? Okay. The tower, Scorpio energy. Somebody can't accept something there. That's what this is. It's like there's a bunch of people fighting because they don't agree with what two people are doing. So two people are about to do something and uh, there's more than one person that doesn't like it. And there's more than one person that's challenging it, okay? That could be a work situation where you and your business partner are coming together and you're going to be doing this presentation, this PowerPoint or whatever it is, and you have the staff that's hating on you. Big deal, you know what I mean? They're just going to have to sit and watch the PowerPoint because you're not going anywhere. So, you know, the thing is, is that that's just one example, or this could be, you know, two people coming together for something, or this could be you and your partner, and you're noticing that there's so much controversy about it. So it's not for you to be hindered by, I don't think you're going to be hindered by this. This whole session is only to prepare you for what's coming. So when you see it, you don't let it upset you, you know, so clarify the five of wands we need more information on this tower the ten of swords who is it that is lying to themselves here they're causing a problem and they feel like there's too many people complaining and they're doubting themselves i really don't feel like this is you taurus because you know a bull like we are not 
going to settle in this energy of giving up. So to me, it's somebody around you that wants to give up because of all of the pressure from all of these people. And you may be speaking with this person in the near future if you're not speaking with them right now, whether it's a friend of yours or a coworker or whomever. And it's like you are the light for this person. You are the guidance. You are someone's strength is what this is giving, okay? Tell me more. Tell me more about the future. King of Cups, Scorpio energy. Tell me more. The Nine of Wands again in the same position that it came out yesterday. And then we have the Hierophant. All right, so it's funny because... There's still an energy over here that has drama with other people. I feel like you don't want to be associated with the drama. You already know that this person is having problems or, you know, there's just like more than one person mad at that individual. We have a Hierophant card that fell to the floor earlier. So that's what made me believe that this person does not have access to you right now or they're finding it difficult to sit down and speak with you. OK, and now I have the Hierophant coming out again with the King of Cups to the Hierophant. So you have somebody here who feels very much connected to you, could be a Scorpio, a Cancer, a Pisces, does not have to be. But this person still wants you. They still want to be around you. If this is somebody new, then obviously the King of Cups is someone who wants to have a date. Like this is somebody who wants some of your time. You know, they're looking forward to seeing where this can go. But please keep in mind, and as I say that, the dog barks outside. So this person has a lot of issues with them, okay? Yes, they want you. They want to be around you. They want to be with you. But there's drama. They come with a lot of drama, all right? So... Just keep that in mind. All right, so that's what I have for you, Taurus. To book a private session, all of that info is below. Take care.